the thing about this, Mark, is, is come on. You can't bake a proper cake, can you, without eggs and without milk? Right. I mean, first of all, did you? Did, did you have money on, on the vegan to win an arm wrestle? That was, <laughs> that was the really big story fix, of the show. It's a fix. Of course it is. But look... They're always fainting, the vegans that I know. They're not healthy people. Well, we have people watching this show that are vegetarians, that are vegans, mm. that are carnivores, that are omnivores. Yeah. It takes all sorts. And you can eat what you like. Yeah, right? and, I, and I've got pals that are vegans and they love it. Mm. And uh, many think that it's transformed their health. I think it's suboptimal for human health. We can come to that. But this is well, an it's example... Just the vegans that I know, Mark, always seem to be very unhealthy and they're always fainting all the time. That's my personal experience. I'm not saying mm. I'm diagnosing of that, but I think they're lacking a lot of nutrients and they're always fainting and they have very bad skin, most of the vegans. Well, the NHS NHS do recommend that you take supplements including mm. vitamin B12 and zinc if you're on a vegan plant-based diet. There's also research that suggests that children on a vegan diet are one to two centimetres shorter than oh meat-eating children. That comes from, from uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, Great Ormond Street Hospital, so I think you know, they know their onions. The bottom line is that it's the kind of hardcore wing, the sectarian wing of the vegan movement, for whom... Being plant-based is a cult, it's a political project, it's a religion, Dan. Now, this young woman, and good luck to her, by the way, very talented young baker, and, uh, and I think she'll go places, Freya Cox, she had to come off social media before her appearance on the show because although she's a famous vegan, she likes horse riding. And she's been cancelled by some vegans You're kidding me. because of her love for horse riding. She's not killing the she, horse. She, well, of course not. In she's fact, just riding the horse. She's riding the horse. She's feeding the horse great nutrition, probably better than the nu nutrition she's getting. Uh, and she's grooming this creature, you know, probably because very well taken care of. Because vegans don't want you to even ride a horse now. It's cruel. It's cruel, apparently. Oh, for goodness sake. Know that she deleted her social media but, but, because of a hate campaign against oh. her as a vegan for horse riding. And now there's a whole load of criticism of Channel 4. I'm sorry. If you're going to go on a baking show, surely mm. you accept that you're going to have to use ingredients, including eggs and milk. Yes. It's just uh, part of it. And, and I, again, this is not an attack on Freya Cox because she was pragmatic and she yeah. accepted that in order to do this technical challenge, she was going yeah. to have to use eggs. You yeah, know, it's and, all and, the people and criticising Channel 4. Yeah, and, and she does not have a case to answer, you know, and afterwards she reached out to her woke vegan pals to say, look, I'm really sorry. But here's the thing, she has to apologise. Um, there is such fear now around the hardcore vegan movement, and that's why I'm concerned about it, and that's why I'm raising a red flag. Because I think once we're done with this pandemic, there's going to be huge pressure on all of us to go plant-based. Wagamama, which is a fantastic restaurant chain, I'm sure you're a fan as well. I can't stand Wagamama. Really? Oh, I love those spicy Horrible sauces. Food. Horrible food. Well, I, I don't very mind... watery. I really? Watery food very Crumbs. Watery. Well, look, I, I quite, okay, I, you I like quite enjoy... I like the... the, 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 the very the, mediocre food. <laughs> I like the breaded chicken, you know what I mean? And, uh, and, and a couple of noodles when I'm eating You're carbs. much more sophisticated. I'm more a KFC, Subway, McDonald's type of guy. Oh, there you go. Good to know you're a cheap date. <laughs> but basically, they've announced they're going to be... 50% of their menu is going to be plant-based. 50%? 50%. I'm Cadbury's, certainly not going The there. Cadbury's have, uh, have released a plant-based dairy milk. Oh, yeah. But do you know how they released it? They released it with an apology for taking two years, and we're so sorry it's taken so long to get this product out, out oh. there, but we wanted it to be perfect. Now, why all the apologies? Why are people cancelling their social media? Because there are a hardcore of vegans out there who are bullies, and what's going to happen, I predict this, mark my words, Dan, they will have a look at your ribeye steak and your breast of chicken, and they will say, you're not having that anymore. Yeah. But you know what, Mark? It just makes me want to eat it more. Mm. And let me tell you, if anyone, including this young Freya, tells you that a vegan cake will taste anything other than completely revolting, they are lying. Because I have been forced, one of my friends was a vegan, I've been forced to have a vegan cake before, Mark. You might as well eat sand. Look, it's very difficult because, I mean, for example, M&S sell vegan bacon and the ingredients are just, I mean, there's so many ingredients in there and all of these processed products are a concern. It's not healthy. Honestly, this is the thing. A vegan diet, exactly, all of these substitutes are full of horrible processed rubbish. Soya, vegetable oil, yeah. goodness knows what else, all sorts of we're, fillers. But we're meant to eat meat. We are meant to eat animal products. Well, we're, we're omnivores. And the important thing is it's choice. So as I said earlier, if I think you, I'm if more you of go, a carnivore. Well, you might be. You are. You, you are uh, you're, you're quite sort of Neanderthal in your own way, in a good way. You're very butch. <laughs>
But look, I think it's a concern, and I think we've got to push back a little bit because I just think that there is an agenda to get us oh, yeah. stop eating meat. Oh, yeah. Now, the, the, and, the and, BBC, and, and they want to act as if this is a religion or as if it's a, a, a race or a gender or an identity. That's what the vegans want. It's not. You just eat weird food. This isn't. And this, also, this, can we this, put this paid part of Dan? Can we put paid to the idea that you're saving the planet? on a plant-based diet, because mm. if you eat plant-based food, that is rice, and it's going to be wheat and soya and corn. All of this requires vast monocrop agriculture, which depletes the soil, which requires pesticides and fertilizers, completely upsets nature, as opposed to livestock, grass-fed, grass you know, just grazing and pooing and weeing on the land, and, you know, they call that regenerative farming. So it's certainly not, not necessarily good for the planet. You've got the air miles and the packaging of all these processed products. And the BBC are part of this, because the BBC launched a green Blue Peter badge for children, and this was to encourage children to go plant-based. Oh, you're kidding yeah. me. Yeah, and there was an uproar, and after oh, two faulty. weeks, they removed the part about what the children were eating, but there was still a green blue Peter badge to encourage kids to be environmentally friendly. I don't object to that. But our but national broadcaster kids was, was essentially incentivizing kids to go plant-based. Now, the research around a vegan diet for children is unknown. I've quoted that statistic uh, that already suggests that they, they grow smaller some of your friends have fainted. I mean, yeah. maybe that's your company. But in the end, it's got to be about choice. I mean, and the pushback starts here because, you know, we're being told by the government what kind of boiler to have, what kind of car to drive. Very soon, what is on our plate will be decided by the state. And I say no. Absolutely. Mark Dolan, great analysis. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.